when the president appointed me as secretary of the National AIDS Commission, the first thing I did was indeed invite all of them who were against it as well as for, uh, those who were for it. But we knew that this is a very difficult question because the law criminalized drug use. So there was a big resistance. So I said, okay, let's stop for a moment. We have 330,000 young people who are injecting drugs. Prevalence rate in some districts is already 67% HIV positive, Hep C, as well as syphilis, etc. What do we want to do? Do we want to kill them? Or do we want to save them? The easiest way is to kill them. Because if we don't do anything, we keep on fighting among us, they will die. They will die of overdose, they will die of AIDS, they will die of Hep C, they will die. And if they get imprisoned, they will die even faster because they get beaten up, so they will die faster. But we are the government. Where were we when our kids became victims of the drug pushers? And there was total silence. Then a policeman came, said, Ibu, you're right. We have to save them if we can. Because my son is a drug user and I don't know what to do. And that, my friends, changed the whole atmosphere, the discussion. Thank you. Thank you, Natsia.